The newest thing in laptop computers is the netbook. They are small, they're easy to carry, and they are all over the place. Do they offer everything you need? Natalie Del Conte, senior editor at CNET TV, has some answers. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. You've been gone for a while because I know you've been out working hard doing the research on I this. I have been. Right? I've brought you a veritable buffet of computers that you're going to see in the stores this holiday season now right. that Windows 7 is out. Okay. Now, here's the deal because it's part of this is about Windows 7. We were talking about it earlier. It's a new operating system right. from Microsoft. Uh, if you buy a new one of these, it's going to have a little dot, a little sticker on it like that. So it's got the Windows 7 right. thing. And it's new and improved and it's better than the last time, right? It is. We can agree on that. Okay. Okay, all right. Now let's talk about the difference between notebooks and netbooks. We were asking outside people. A lot of people just don't know what what's the big. What, which is which here? Well, the big thing about a netbook is that it's small, it's light, it's usually under 11 inches, mm -hmm. and it's going to cost $500 or less. Okay. It's not super powerful, so what we brought to compare it with first was this Sony Vio. Okay. This is just something that you've seen in the stores. Mm -hmm. It looks like a regular laptop, but it's not great to carry around. I right. find it too heavy. The netbooks are great. This is the new Nokia one. This right. one has 3G in it, so if you don't have a Wi-Fi signal, right. you can get online over the cell. So so this is built in, you don't have to have that card thing sticking in the you side. You don't, okay. but I want to warn you, be careful about buying these because you'll see a really low price on something like this, $299, $999, wow. $99, whatever. Uh -huh. But then you have to pay a $60 a month service fee for 3G. So if you see something okay. that's $99, okay. just remember, you're going to have to sign a contract. So in the end, you're going to pay something like $1,500 for two months. So here's my question. So here's your good old-fashioned laptop. Right. And it kind of does everything now. It can play DVDs. It can kind of do everything. Right. A lot of people use it as their main computer. Exactly right. What is there, what is, what the upside of this, it's smaller, it's lighter, it can do a lot of things. Is there a downside to these per se? Well, these are going to be a tiny bit more sluggish. They're not going to hold a lot of media. Uh -huh. So there are also this interim solution, which is the new HP Envy. Right. There are a lot of laptops that are just getting a lot thinner, a lot more portable and lighter. And this one is just as powerful as this one. Wow. Okay. So this is, this kind of, kind of splits the difference, right? Right. Yeah. It's a 13 inch. This is going to go head to head with the MacBook. Wow, very cool. This is very cool. Now, one of the other things that we want to talk about this morning uh -huh. is how the technology is really s sweeping into the, your kind of your home computer system. We have right. a couple of them uh, over here. What are we? What are we looking well, at? Well, let's go around and play with this. This is called a net top. So it's a machine that you navigate over touch screen. This is the HP Touch Smart, mm -hmm. and you can see you can just play with it. Windows, Windows Seven was optimized for touch screen, ah. so we can make a little happy face there. Right. Um, and it does everything else that you want it to do. I really like the net top category for uh -huh. the kitchen. You keep it in the kitchen. You can play your photos. You can play your music and videos while you're cooking. Right. You can the have your recipes up. The kids can kind of be up. on it and, you know, making faces. I think that looks like Harry Smith, actually. It does. Let's give it a nice little circle of a face. Yeah. Kind of fun, yeah. right? And no, there's no hair up there. No, there is not any hair. Okay. I right. made sure of that. All right. Um, but this is something that you want to keep in the living room, maybe of the kitchen. It's right. powerful enough to be your home PC, your right. family PC. Okay. But if you really <clears throat> want kind of the desktop experience, right. we're used to we used to have the big towers. You towers don't need are gone. those anymore. Yeah. Because this all-in-one PC category is becoming really popular as well. And this is running Windows 7. Mm -hmm. This has all the multimedia functions of wow. it. This is also touchscreen. Look at that. Look, if we get in the middle. Right. You can, uh, this is kind of fun. Oh, I can put on oh, a witch's had rain. hat. You had rain over your head. For Halloween. Wait a minute. I like this better. We can use this for Dave. Okay. There right. you go. Weatherman. So it, it, it's got a lot of fun features to these kind of things. Yeah. And this is also a touch screen. And, it's, and the power on these things is just crazy. There's 320 gigs on here, but you want to make sure you got a backup drive for this as well. Always backup. Always backup. Back up especially your if you're going to move to a Windows 7 machine, back everything up first. There you go. Natalie, as always, thank you so much. To read more about netbooks, notebooks, and all the stuff we talked about in the last couple of minutes, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.